Hello guys, welcome to Frickin' Jeep. I'm, I'm still kicking. Uh, my name is John and I'm going to turn the fan off. Oops, when I'm back here I had the fan on. I know it's been a while since I did a video. Um, a lot of reasons. There's, there's just a, two handfuls of reasons why I haven't made a video in so many days. Some of them are, it just takes a lot of time and I've got so much going on. The biggest reason is it's been raining. You figure Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday it rained. Today is Saturday afternoon. It's just starting to dry off. And you'll see some of the things. If I put these in the right order, you'll see some of the things that I'm working on. You'll even see Max, Mac Yoakum's uh, deer that I caught on the porch, or next to the porch, but he was getting on the porch. And I have a hard trap. Um, but the rain is the biggest thing. When I used to do one video, like of the sawmilling, I could get three videos out of one sawmill thing, and that worked pretty good. But now I'm cutting out all the nonsense, so I'm like day by day video. I don't have any plugged ahead. That's one reason. Uh, last week we went down to the carnival, I think three or four nights. I'm not sure how many nights, but that blasts out at night when I usually do everything. Um, and I just really haven't felt like making a video. Uh, some of the spark on video making is, is kind of gone. I'm trying to get back in the uh, seat of things, but. Today I've just been all day picking up sticks and I have two or three trees down on the property. One big one, a couple other just annoying. I just saw another one over there. I don't think they're all, I know one is from the storm. I was 400 feet from that when it came down, 400 feet. And when it hit the ground, I could feel it. And I, I think that's in a later video today because I did, I'm hoping that I'll put, be able to put this one on first. I'm not too good at editing. And uh, then I spent, and I've been I've been working since nine o'clock, which is early, early, early for me. I don't usually get out to noon. Now I'm going to go eat dinner, and I got a tree up, a tree down up around the corner where I got the last tree um, that I just downloaded, which you saw, you'll see later. I don't know. I got so much stuff going on. This this thing is all over the place. Um, I did get that other lickety log splitter going. They're down there covered up. I can't get down in there. It's just a swamp down there still. You'll see in the picture where the creek down there ran over. It probably has 20 acres of runoff that go through that one 24-inch pipe, and it didn't handle it this time. It's the first time it hadn't handled that in half a dozen years or better, so we got heck of a rain. Over five inches, almost six inches of rain here in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I think Wednesday wasn't hurricane, then Thursday and Friday was hurricane. Um, and just, just constant rain, just every night getting pounded with rain and that's when I do most of my stuff and so that kind of worked on me a little bit um, I did a one day I spent working up here and redoing the gutter um, which not one day probably two to three hours up there getting all the little seeds out of the floor up there and then the gutter was clogged up which was creating a rain down here which was coming bringing water into the into this room down here because there was just so much water coming down. It was coming down off of the upper roof and the and the uh, other roof. And so I cleaned that all out. It didn't help much. I mean the water didn't run over, but the slant. The, whoever poured this basement poured it wrong. So the the slope of the front little lip takes water in. So it's always been a pain in the neck. And um, I'm not not going to change it after all these years. So that was one thing. I took a, uh, did, spent one day, took a load of the scrap to pay for my lickety log splitters um, and did real good at that, almost 800 bucks and just the black pickup truck full of miscellaneous stuff that I picked up from around around here. I'm going to probably take another load over in a week or so, get another load together. Um, but the good high dollar stuff went out on that load. So the next one I probably won't do, do as good, but if I do... But I'm, I'm happy with 300 to a run in the black pickup truck. So if I get 300 in the next run, I'll be tickled to death. So that's what's going on. So I, yeah, I am. I'm doing okay. There's not much going on. A few other things going on that I'm not going to mention. Um, why I haven't done videos. Um, but anyhow, that that's more than anything. It's the rain and just just didn't feel like making videos. It takes a lot of time, and I had an awful lot of stuff to do. So, if there's enough time, I'm going to put this on the put this on the computer. And if I don't make up to 30 minutes in the three videos I got, then um, I'll put a little more on another one. There's one of them lantern flies. I wonder if this soap will get them. 
<laughs> he jumped pretty quick on that. Oh, it doesn't shoot a stream that way. Yeah, it does. Got him that time. Oh, he shot over that way. Those lantern flies are going to be pretty bad. Anyhow, um, I hope you like this video. Um, kind of trying to get back, back on the horse and ride it some more. Um, a lot going on. So we'll see you. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And um, glad you did stop by. And glad did uh, there's. Oh, I know. I had a whole list of stuff I was supposed to. I forget my head. I, had, I spent a half hour looking for the list. Um, Wild West Bill, go watch him. He's the one that took the saw blade out, hit the lower dogs, and that was the same thing that we did, or Jeff did on his sawmill down there. The lower dog will hit the saw blade before the upper dog, just if you figure the, the radius of the saw and all that kind of stuff. And to show you how nice that guy is, I told him about that in the bunion and how we took the first saw up to the uh, bunion show. He offered to ship me that, that saw, but I already have one for the bunion show. i got to get it ready, one of the things on the list. Um, you know you need to buy it. Remember a long time ago, a year or two ago, I put it, you know you need to buy it if, you know you need to buy it if. Well, somebody wrote me, you know you need to buy it if it's got a vice grip clamped on it. That was one of the lickety log splitters. I thought that was funny. For some reason, I have lanterns written on here, but I don't even remember what I wrote it for. Going to see a band tonight. That was last. That's how long ago this list was. Let's see. Oh, Tony at Cool Tools. If you want to see a lot of cool tools, you got to go up and watch Tony at Cool Tools. Really, just a heck of a nice guy. He puts a video out just about every Sunday, um, and maybe in between. Anyhow, after I bought that second second lickety log splitter, he said that there was a 12-step program. To for uh, log splitter, lickety log splitter addiction that I need to need to get into. So go up and uh, LLS lickety log splitter addiction. That's what I wrote here, but I, I got it all messed up. Um, and I was also watching Alan Family Firewood, I think, and he's talking about putting his wood in a greenhouse type hoop. And uh, somewhere I have videos on the one I got down there, but I couldn't find them. Maybe you guys can find that for him and send that up to him where, you know, I put the um, big beams across the front and then put the wobble wire in there and then flipped it over and did the same thing. That might help him out for holding it down because what he's got up there, if he gets a good wind, from my experience, it's going to launch that plastic. So anyhow, that, that's what's going on. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you later. Told you I'd bring you back. This is some of the mess from the storm today. It's Saturday after the storm. There's sticks down everywhere. She's Mrs. Friggin' she's been picking up sticks everywhere. I'm gonna put you around a little bit and show you some of the mess. There's sticks up there. Can you see all that in there? Which is a lot lighter than some people got, but it still takes time. It takes time. And while we're here. See the just sweep all that off. That's what she's already picked up this morning. Okay. I had another thing going on. Got a lot going on. If you have noticed in the back, I had two trailers are actually three trailers with irrigation stuff on there I've sold all that um, that was arranged before I uh, the sale that was started before um, I bought the lickety log splitters so I knew I had enough money to get those if you don't know if you cut these in two different directions don't cut just the top off because it's wider and longer one way than the other and you cut the other one way the other you can put put a lid on top of it and make a real nice dry storage area. I had a bunch of hoses in there. I still haven't got the logs off of the trailer that we went and got and there's also another oak down there that I gotta go get. I'm hopefully to maybe start in this video on that. These trailers that I built from scratch years ago, I bought, excuse me, bought the one centerpiece down, held, held 30 foot pieces of irrigation pipe. That one what, this one was holding 30 foot, that one there was holding 20 foot. What I'm thinking about doing, 
uh, I guess you're probably getting winded out, is cutting this center section out here, maybe redoing it, depending on how strong the steel is. I'm going to pressure wash these maybe later today. Um, and see if that liquidy log splitter won't set right down on top of it. And that'll, when you add up the height of it here, it might be the perfect height so I don't have to bend over. I've got two trailers. I'm going to put them on uh, Facebook to see if anybody interested in buying them because, you know, I made the axles. I bought the springs. But I made those axles. Those are out of um, uh, old Chrysler K cars, I think. And I made a bunch of them. Uh, this is a trail. Look at the old bees nest that was in there. So I'm going to pressure wash this. This held all the irrigation couplers. This held all the risers here. This comes off of here. And this trailer here I used to use go to steam shows and that held a collection of little steam engines. So that's what I'm working on. I'm going to show you a couple, little bit more damage. We'll put it around on the um, uh, Kubota. Took me, took me a while to find the the tripod I didn't know where I left it so it, it, we got enough water that the um, creek washed over down there so that needs needs working on this grass here I spent a couple days mowing grass and this is already tall enough now it needs mowing again and you can see where I just mowed it had enough uh, water come down off this hill it flooded in the greenhouse filled up the blue thing which then all the water goes back and goes into the pit in there which I've already pumped that out you can see it just sticks it sticks next to these woods if you're not familiar with the boiler I got a I got a I don't know a pit at the back of the boiler and um, so I spent time yesterday cleaning that out which you probably can't see it's probably too dark in here Um, there's the sump pump I had in there, hosed it all out, cleaned it all out. So that was one thing. And like I said, there's sticks and debris. See all this stuff? That's a four inch, four inch limb up there. I got one tree down. We'll go up there and pop the tree. See all the, it's just, just clean up. Just clean up. And it, and that's, that's something I'm not going to be filming because clean up is just clean up. I mean, it's not that much. To it we burn an awful lot of it like I said you can see the pile up there in the burn pile I'm gonna get that going in a minute we'll go up and show you the tree that came down show you where the creek came over and then show you the tree that came down I got right now I have uh, I think four trees down here down on the property they're gonna get and you can see all this all this stuff here in the in the road. It was a heck of a wash. And it is it is sticky over in the wood yard. We had a uh, here's debris. Here's wash out from comes down off of there and goes over in there. There's more more limbs down over there. Big rut here. I don't fill it in because it keeps washing out. You can see the mud hole here washed out pretty good now see see how the grass is blown over so you know the water was from there to up over here I'm not getting out it's too muddy you can see where it came out up over the thing here and kind of washed out down in there a little worse so I got to do some repairs there that was sticks that we cut down we can drive up there but then there's not too much too much going on back that way you can see the sticks in the path here and I need two hands to back up to get back down out of here kind of across the road here 
I gotta keep my foot on the brake, but uh, I'll turn it off. That's about like the other oaks that we got down there. That goes, it's probably 100 foot once it goes way down there because it's still 16 inches there. It's pretty rotted out. Um, you can't tell the incline that I am on right now. If this, this is, uh, that's level, but you can't, you really can't tell. Um, but it's probably better than 30 degrees down in here. 30 degrees going up. And uh, I'm going to have to winch that up. So I'll probably cut it then winch it or I might I don't want to go down the hill with it um, but I might have to it looks like it took out a another little tree of some sort there that was growing next to it anyhow there's another one in the path down that way um, that needs to come down so we'll bring you back uh, in a little bit we'll see you bye It's just another one, one of the things I got to get done today. We've gotten an awful lot of sticks picked up and burned over there. I've got the irrigation pipe I sold. That's gone. Uh, cleaned up some of that stuff. Now I got to get these off because there's another tree where I got these trees. There's another tree that came down that they called me and said come get. So I'm going to get the bobcat. I can't take these down and put them in the wood yard because it's too wet down there. I'll never get the truck out of the hole. Um, takes a few days for it to dry out, so I'm going to take a minute, come over here and get the bobcat and take it off. Then I'm going to move the picnic table so I can move low under the picnic table.
go get that log up around a corner, mow grass, and move some of the trailer stuff to the back. So that's what's going on around here. We'll see you later. Well, there's our little porch bandit right there. Not a very big one. Doesn't like being in there. Alright guys, I told you to be back coming up look at this log here. This is kind of a mess, real mess. It's white oak though, so it's worth getting. It's a corkscrew, so if you look at it, um, I'll take you up there. But this is probably what the video tomorrow is going to be. I'll probably, I'll tease you a little bit with this, but I don't want to take it too long so today's movie goes over. It's got a lot of cut up stuff. This is all briars here, heavy briars, uh, heavy, heavy, heavy briars. Um, oh, it's a double lager. So this is going to be a, a challenge to get out. Um, it take me a little while, but like I said, it's white oak, so it might be, it might be worth the uh, dragging it out. And it's also caught on this other stump over here that goes up. See this stump here? Man, these briars are nasty. I don't know. That might be an oak log. That might be oak too. But that's been there for a while. I don't remember. I didn't get that. Yeah, it appears to be oak too. We might take a slab off of that. But I think I'll cut this here. Well, I'll cut that that piece off there. Cut. Yeah, that's a piece of it going off that way. So I'll have a little piece there. Then I'll have this piece here. It's just going to have to be whittled away at it for a little bit. So. I'll bring you back in a couple minutes when I got it a little bit whittled away. Um, this looks like I can get it all out in one nasty piece. Get that out in one nasty piece. And then cut it so I can grab it and cut it up there one other piece. So that's what I'm shooting for. Well, I'll, I'll let you be here for a couple minutes whittling on it if the chainsaw will start. A lot of stuff on the ground that I'm tripping over. It's been a while since I started this beast. Uh, don't even remember how. suspended between the valley there held up here it's held up here 
and it's held up way back there so I thought if I cut up it wouldn't bind but evidently it's trying to push that way so we're gonna have to swing the boom around take a little pressure off of that so I'll bring you back tomorrow for the rest of it we'll see you now bye bye